Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bolt. So guys, in today's video, I'll be creating a custom lightning web component, which will be having a model in it. And that model will be having a curtain effect. You must have seen that effect in the original curtains, like how it opens and how I close. So I'll be having the same effect for my model pop-up as well. So if you are not aware about it, there's a specific CSS available to implement that curtain effect in your page or in your LWC. And you may also use that curtain effect at multiple places. Maybe if you would like to display a set of image kind of a gallery on a click of a button, then you may use that curtain effect. Or maybe if you'd like to display some additional menu kind of a step on the click of a button. So you may display your menu in that curtain effect. So that will be some kind of a curtain menu, I would say. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right, guys, so let's start today's video. So guys, for today's video, actually, I have already created that component, which will be having the curtain effect. So in this video, I'll basically, I'll be explaining the code. And as I said, guys, like you, you may use this curtain effect at multiple places. Like, I mean, if you, if you are one of those, uh, those guys like who took UI very, very seriously, then, you know, this might be a video for you. And, uh, okay. So, so let's start today's video. So let me open my scratch or first so I can just you know show you the output of it so let me quickly do open default org okay this is my org now this is my app let me zoom in a little okay so this is my tab curtain model and on the click of this button I'm having a model but that model is in a curtain effect okay so usually if you remember the model like how it you know gets popped up on screen and all the background is grayed out or maybe a black opacities uh, is in the background so that same effect i'm having here but that will be displayed as a curtain effect so when i will click on this button you will notice this curtain effect for this model pop up and there's a close button as well okay so you see like how this effect is you know uh, happening here like it is sliding from left to right you may also change the effect to slide from right to left bottom to top or maybe top to bottom itself it is completely up to you up to your requirement okay now let me show you the code of it so the complete uh, css is here so okay so for this guys, I'm using some CSS. So first of all, I'm using this overlay CSS. The overlay is basically the background of it. Okay. So for the background, I'm having the complete height. Position is fixed. I'm having Z index as one. So it should be always on the top. I'm not having any margins here. The background colors is of course black. Overflow is hidden and the transition you see, you notice the transition between like when it is getting displayed over the screen. So the transition is 0.5 seconds underneath that i'm having another css which is for content so in this case the content is this model pop-up so whatever you are having as a content in this uh, curtain uh, effect or curtain model or whatever you call it that will be in this curtain uh, over overlay content css okay so for this content css i'm having the position as relative i'm having margin top and width here okay and apart from that i'm having a css for the close button as well so that will be for this close button even though it is a lightning button but still we have to use a custom css to display it as a specific position and this button position is also fixed so even though if you will increase or decrease the screen size so the button will be fixed on that specific position so for that i'm using position absolute and i'm having uh, its position from top and right and also i'm having a font size to just to display it little little bit larger than usual size okay now let's move to the html part so in html part guys this is your main container div which is the uh, curtain model uh, div i would say okay and here i'm just having a button the close button and underneath that there's another container div which is having the overlay content class so whatever you will put inside this overlay content class that will be the content of this curtain model so as i said like you may use it multiple places so maybe if you would like to display a data table maybe who knows 
और मे बी रिलेटेड लिस्ट और मे बी कॉन्टैक्ट और मे बी सम स्पेसिफिक लाइटनिंग वेब कंपनी आई मीन इट वुड बी एनी थिंग जस्ट कंसिडर इट एज ए नॉर्मल मॉडल वेर यू कैन पुट एनी काइंड ऑफ डेटा यू मे ऑल्सो हैव चाइल्ड कंपोनेंट ग्रैंड चाइल्ड कंपोनेंट इन इट द फंक्शनैलिटी विल बी एब्सोल्यूटली फाइन सो इन माई केस इन दिस कंटेंट कंटेनर आई एम हैविंग अ कस्टम मॉडल कंपोनेंट ओके नाउ वे नाउ लेट मी शो यू लाइक हाउ यू मे गेट दिस कस्टम मॉडल कंपोनेंट so actually in my blog i was already having a custom model component so i have just used that so if you need the uh, custom model component as well you just have to go to my blog which is salesforceworld.com search for model and hit enter okay now this is this is a episode from my lwc stack series episode number 25 so if you'll open it you will find the complete code of that custom model component so this is the code i'm using in that component okay i'm just using the html part here so i have taken the complete part from this section to this section tag okay and i have just removed the css because like this is the css which is uh, which will be displaying this component on the load of your screen as a fade in open model pop up so we don't need that in this curtain thing so that's why i have removed the css otherwise the remaining stuff is same i have just changed the header title and the header uh, description in my case the header title is curtain model pop up and the description is this is a curtain model pop up component if you would like to implement it as a curtain model pop up component guys okay i'm not uh, i'm not uh, uh, implementing it as a curtain effect only i'm using it as a curtain model so in that case your content area will be this so whatever you will put inside this slds model content that will be your content area and if you like it if you if you would like to use it for any other functionality then your content area will be this overlay content thing okay and as it is a custom model component then of course you may just you know increase the size of it maybe increase width and height of it so that is also possible here it's not it's not a big deal and at the end i'm having a lightning button so this is basically my ui the button that is uh getting called like this is the button here so uh, i'm i'm having this button after that main uh, container uh, curtain model dev tag because like that button should not be a part of that model because that model is coming as a curtain effect so that will be hidden until we'll click on this button now the main thing is how i'm displaying and hiding this model so you must be thinking like there's no template if tag available here if you have noticed i'm not using any template if tag you may use that as well okay but uh, for this time i'm not using any template if tag here what i'm doing in the javascript side guys so in javascript side i am adding a style width in this uh, curtain container in this curtain model component and i'm removing that width on the click of the close button okay so let me show you the javascript part now so in the javascript i am having close model and handle show model uh, function here so on the handle show model if you will notice i am just adding a style width here which is 100% and on the click of the close model guys i am just making it zero again so that is how it is getting displayed as a effect i would say as a curtain effect from left to right or wherever you want it so that is how it is getting displayed okay so yep uh, that is the curtain model component guys and also like if you would like to have the complete code of this model with the complete css so you may always go to my blog if you are not aware so i'm having i'm having a blog also for each of five video which is containing the video description and the complete code as well so if you need the complete code of this curtain model so of course i mean that is going to be available in my blog as well so you may just directly go to that blog and feel free to use it wherever you want okay so that it is for today guys so if you like today's video uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome guys i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching